Hello ladies and gents, it's Spoonie Pizzas here with another Pro Evolution Soccer 2018 video and today I want to talk to you about how to fit in Philip Coutinho into the Barcelona team and this is my probably preferred um, style of play. So it's a fluid formation um, and without possession of the ball I've gone for 4-3-3 with a defensive midfielder two attacking footers and you can see there Philippe Coutinho on the left hand side and the reason for that is because he cut, likes to cut in on his right hand right foot and curl you know shots into the corner um, supported by and then he's supporting uh, Dembele, Suarez and Messi okay so when we get the possession of the ball what you want to watch for is uh, the positions of Sergio Roberto and Jordi Alba okay so I'm not going to move it into in possession okay so everyone else is pretty much the similar position I've pushed Busquets a little bit forward and PK and MTT and the front three remain in the same position. I've also pushed forward Philip Coutinho and Iniesta. Now the key, like I said, the key part is Sergio Roberto is moved to a central midfield position and Jordi Alba has moved to a left midfield position. The reason for that is because I could play Sergio Roberto in, in a number of positions but I think it's really nice to have that um, this player is a central midfielder and this one is a left midfielder and you'll see that in you'll see the reason for that in the game um, now I do have the option to bring in um, Nelson Semedo if I want because he likes playing on the um, in the centre midfield too so if I wanted to I could change him to a central midfielder and bring in Semedo who doesn't mind playing a left back if you watch his uh, 81 for Nelson Semedo it then goes down to 77 but um, in this instance, I'm going to keep with Jordi Alba. I may try it in the second half and switch into um, central midfield. But I'll uh, I'll see how that pans out. On to attack instructions. So I've gone for a possession game. Um, so it's going to be a, quite a slow build up. Um, short pass. Central attacking area. Um, in fact, I might go for wide. Yeah, so it keeps my players um, nice and wide. I've gone for flexible. So Messi can interchange with Suarez and Dembele likewise. Then I've gone for support range three, nice and close. So the players come to the ball, uh, supporting the player with the ball, um, allowing you to play that tick attacker style, which many of you like to play with Barcelona. So defensive instructions, we've gone for front line pressure, middle containment, aggressive pressing. So basically I've got my defensive line high up the pitch. So you can see there it's on nine. And the compactness is two, so it's nice and spread out. Um, because obviously I have to deal with the uh, the front three of Real Madrid. Um, as for advanced instructions, got hug the touchline, tick a target, and counter target. And this is the reason that I use um, this is the right reason I use fluid formation for Barcelona. And the reason for that is because if I wanted the fullbacks to um, sort of play that play that um, uh, sort of false fullback role I'd have to lose one of these and hug the touchline makes my wingers go wide which stretches the play allows me to go through the middle and also tick attacker obviously that's you know unique to Barcelona really um, so and that's the reason I want to want to play that so going to get the game underway um, just make sure it's on superstar okay just in case anyone's got any questions or has any doubts? Okay, so that's the new camp. Camp new. Okay, so you can see here Sergio Roberto is in the field, and you can see here that Jordi Alba is a little bit wider, so it gives that little bit of stretch to the play, and that's the reason I've gone for that. And he also cuts him, you see there, with, let me just rewind that back. This is what I like, this is why I like playing a central midfielder and a left midfielder. So you can see here, he gives the ball, and he's gone. Now look at the position he's taken at now. Now I've, I've put him to Suarez, and he's just in between. Rafael Varane and uh, Danny Carvajal. Okay, it's a poor pass by um, Suarez, but 
the idea was there. Maybe I should have gone over the top. And Matt got through, but you can see there he's in between those two defenders, and that's the reason I like um, right. that left midfielder, uh, the left back moving to that left midfield position. But we'll we'll try it in the second half, the other way around, and uh, and you'll see the difference. Oh, good save. Okay, it's time to play. And he just works it away. And he scores! Oof, my word, what a strike from Marcello. Wow. Probably tried a bit too hard then. He should have relied on technique as opposed to power. Outside of the foot, just wide. Okay, let's get my um get my game going. Real Madrid are making this a bit more difficult than uh, than expected. Let's just try and draw him in. Typical Barca fashion. Nice deep defence, that's it. Draw them out. So we can play through them. And here he is again in that position, in between the, the full back. You can see how important that position is now. So both teams are um, A for form today, so that's really good. It's going to make it a little bit more difficult, but a bit more exciting. So here's Philippe Coutinho. Oh, unfortunate. Couldn't quite get the skill off. Uh, it's a bit too far for the striker. Just trying to... Try and get this uh, tick attack again. Here's Sergio Roberto, like I say, he's in a nice central before position. Don't apologise for that. I, uh, email going off. Oh, good play for Ronaldo, but great defending. If you've not seen my defensive tutorial, the, uh, just type into YouTube, Spoonie Ultimate Defence Tutorial, or something along those lines, and you'll see, uh, a guide on how to defend. Aha. Uh -huh. There's Messi. Ah, oh, couldn't quite lay it back to Suarez. Suarez dropped nice and deep there. Dembele at the far. That's nice. That's why I like the uh, head good touch line. Gives you that. Gives you that out option. Yeah. Coutinho. Oh, just try to curl one to the far post. But it was too easy for the goalie in the end. Good read by Iniesta. Plays it into Dembele's path. What's Suarez doing? Pulls it back! Oh! Ah, <laughs> oh, no. Just got to bring this player back centrally. You can see there that he's making a good run. Have to try and prevent that pass being laid off. There's Jordi Alba again. Yeah, let's have a bit of possession, just try to probe and see what we can do. Using tick attacker. That's nice. Oh, couldn't quite get the shot off. Pulled back by Varane. Good, strong defending there by Varane. Come 
clearly Varane is on there. He's got a high form stat because he's uh, pulling back Coutinho with, with ease. Oh, lovely little bit of skill there by Messi. Lovely. Oh, good save by Kieran Lavis again. He must be on form. He's, uh, he's making these saves look a bit easier than they should. Half time. Plenty of possession. Um, getting into the right areas, but not quite. Uh, so, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this player to central field. And like I said, I'm going to bring in Nelson Simide. You can play that position, there's no problem with that. Okay. I'll probably add a little bit more stability defensively, but going forward, I don't think it's going to be that yeah, option's going to be there. That's why I prefer the uh, left midfield. You can see what I'm going for anyway. Okay, so Madrid still attacking. Haven't put them off uh, this attacking stance. They've got a nice little bit of possession here. Ronaldo's just tucked in inside, so I've just moved uh, Sergio Roberto just to mark him. And brought Coutinho back to uh, to defend. Here's Messi. Let's try and get Messi on the ball more this half. He had two spells on the half. In that half, and uh... oh, that's a lovely ball. Oh! Oh my goodness! Great double save. Fantastic double save there. This is a great double save. Pulls it back. Lovely save there. Look how quickly he reacts to that. Wow. <laughs> Told you it's a little bit tougher when uh, teams are on form. It makes it a lot more exciting, a lot more challenging. Oh, beautiful play there by Dembele. The way he just took a touch. Sidestepped. Oh, nice by Suarez. Oh, off the post. Or back. Oh, my goodness. What a strike. Just cut inside and let rip. Just going to push Sergio. Oh, no, it's uh, Iniesta. Sergio Roberto. Just bring the midfielders back to defend, like I showed you in my. Defensive tutorial. Oh, look at this. Suarez at the far. Oh, good header. Oh, I just couldn't quite follow it up. Absolutely swarming Real Madrid right now. You can see Semedo is a little bit too far back now since I, I've changed his position to midfield. So I would go definitely with the left midfield. It's more defensive, um, I'm finding. So, yeah, definitely. Uh, Something I definitely would go with. Let's bring uh, the players back a little bit. Oh, good call there uh, by Bale. I thought I'd just let him try and shoot on his right foot. I'd rather that than him trying to cross the Benzema. That would be more threatening. So just have to hope he was gonna gonna miss. Let's just try and draw him in. Oh, really? Here we go. This is a nice play. One, two, three. Oh, just trying to put a ball around the corner there for Iniesta. Oh, 
Kofi Peter, so they're chasing the cushion of a second goal. You see Semedo's a lot deeper there in that position. Dembele. Not a lot on, so I'm just going to work it backwards. So Semedo's in a good position there. Let it back. Here's Sergio Roberto. So you can, you can definitely dominate teams using this formation. Oh, I just tried to lay it off to Semedo, but can get the ball off. Just got to be careful with counter-attacks. Oh. Hopefully he doesn't see the Ronaldo on the far side. I'm just trying to block that. Uh oh, he has found him. Oh, great save. I actually selected the goalie to move him across. I didn't want to overcommit. This is a great bit of play. I was trying to block it. You can see I'm jockeying. Trying to prevent that happening there. Didn't quite get my angles right. Managed to feed it through to Ronaldo, but I moved the goalkeeper across and uh, made a good save. Sometimes you need to select the goalie. Look at this. That was good defensive pressure to give him. So I haven't really got Messi in the game, so let's head <laughs> head towards his direction. See if I can isolate. That's nice. Oh, he's really, really on form. It's a nice little bit of play. Here's Messi. Nice little jink. Edge of the box. Ah, oh, a little bit heavy touch there. Lays it off. Nice little intricate play. He's struggling to get out now, Real Madrid. Oh, nice little step over there. Cross it to the far post. Oh, not quite. Not quite enough height. That was unlucky. Oh, Benzema's through. But he's got a lot, lot of work to do here. He's got to cut back on himself. Surely, yes, he has to. Oh, coming together there. The referee didn't see it as a foul. And here's Messi. Gonna flick it up and gonna flick it back. It's nice. Yeah, it's great, great hold-up play by Messi. It's the key. Can't take on the world. Not on this level. No. Oh, couldn't quite feed it through to uh, Iniesta. This is comfortable. Oh, good play by Busquets. And there's a good win. Good solid win. Could have scored three or four in that game really um, but I would definitely go for the left midfield position along with the central midfield position don't go left midfield right midfield because it's too open it's too wide um, so you definitely need at least one central midfielder in there uh, like Sergio Roberto so hopefully you enjoyed the, enjoyed the video guys thanks for watching and uh, please leave a comment below on what, what your thoughts were and how you'd fit in uh, Coutinho into your team thanks a lot guys bye bye